we are here. We walked. You pulling me all the way, you monster. Wait for me, Bear. Just wait for me, mate. Just wait for me. Uh -huh, I can't get the focus. And it's gone. It was a Robin. Flipping camera, honestly. Some of the shots. It, uh, Storm Kristoff appears to have passed. We have uh, we weren't hit too badly by that. It was just real unpleasant. I ran about three degrees above freezing this morning. And uh, a couple of people in there swimming already. With the bobble hats on. <laughs> Keeping warm with the bobble hat on. Yeah, and it's a very, very flat sea again. Wait for me, bear. That's that same Robin, wasn't it? Just wait for me, mate. Right, let's uh, have a talk about these ships. <laughs> Interesting cloud formation over there. Um, the dams are all still in. There's four of them. One, two, three, and four off around the corner just there. There's also a cargo ship, but we can't really see that from here. Why am I talking ships? Morelli Explorer 2 is cruising about in the wider Lime Bay out there, out to sea. I read on social media this morning that during Storm Christoph, when they were anchored over by Toro Key there, they lost an anchor. They lost an anchor. Apparently they are allegedly going to retrieve it at some point in the future, but they lost an anchor there and an investigation will be uh, undertaken, blah, blah, blah. Right, that explains, that explains some of the comms I was hearing the other night. I was hearing strange comms where they were talking about, uh, you know, they were having difficulties to stay put in the wind and blah, blah, blah. And um, they got authority from Bay Reporting for safety reasons uh, to, to up and away to sea uh, without a pilot on board uh, for safety reasons. Uh, they were given authority by Bay Reporting, so that explains all of that. That explains all of that. A couple of seal over in this direction, I can see disappearing off around the headland there. A couple of seal. So, yeah. Really, Explorer 2's anchor is off over there somewhere. Or one of them. Who'd anchor in Torbay, eh? <laughs> Yeah, it's around 9.15 right now. Uh, there's hardly any wind. This is really quite not so bad down here. There's a breath, but not too bad. Um, yeah, high tide around nearer 11. So it's still coming in. So that'll be pleasant to sit here for a moment. If the bear will allow without any seal incident. Yeah, quick uh, shot of the Lake District here. We've had some rain. We have had some rain. There's quite a big lake there. Uh, I'm just going to sit here for a moment, I think, bear on the pedals. Could sit on the rock there, but uh, the tide is incoming, so we'd have to move probably pretty shortly. Uh, yeah, we'll just sit here. Oh, I think precisely where we sat the other day, actually. I seem to recognise this little ridge. Okay. Uh, given that the seal went off around the, the point out there, that the one would assume that there aren't going to be any here for a little while. We could do some ball if you want. You didn't have a, much of a day yesterday, did you? The car and the house are absolutely full of moisture. It's up on the windows everywhere. Terrible, terrible amount of water in the house and car. Yeah, I'm babbling, I'm babbling. I'll get the ball out, just wait, just wait, just wait. Okay, the ball is out. It is covered in mud from yesterday, so uh, not in earnest, but I am going to chuck it in the water just here, uh, not very far. So uh, if you was to stay dry, that would suit me. Okay, a bit too deep, actually. <laughs> that was a bit further than I planned. Oh, well. We'll be doing some here.
Okay, I got the camera. Oh dear. Things I do for these shots. I mean, mind. I'm very breathless. Should we carry on? Should we carry on, Bear? I mean, we're <laughs> we're stepped in so deep. We might as well go over. Come on. There's been a lot of rain here. Great big lake here. Can I climb up over that? Oof. It's gonna get me in breath. Without all the foliage, look at that, you can the uh, the parking slope up there. You can see that clean through. From right up there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's put the camera in the pocket for a bit. We've got to do a bit of climbing here. Just climb over this little ridge line. You, uh, bear with me, Bert. Nice, that was a close one. That was a close call. Uh, bear loose there. He was off down there. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. We are going to disturb them. Me chatting in the camera here. Well, the tide's incoming, they'll be washed off anyway. So I don't think we're doing them any disservice. As you can see. Just trying to get a bit higher here. Close bear. Now we scared them all off, but climbing up here. <laughs> yeah, the tide's. Uh, the tide would have had that happen anyway. I don't feel too badly about that. <laughs> They're all looking back at us. I am teetering on a on a flipping <laughs> a bit of a ledge here. I do not wish to fall. I don't know, there's a whole bunch of them there. We disturbed them all. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I'm not letting you off, that's for damn sure. I'm stuck here now, aren't I, really? Yeah, we can't get any closer. Look at them, all looking at us. How cute are they? You could do a Johnny Morris animal magic voiceover for this, couldn't you? Some of these shots, <laughs> the way they're looking at me. Got to be a certain age to remember that. Oh, it's a shame we can't get a bit closer down on the rocks there. I, I, I don't think I can do this climb with Bear on the lead. I don't want to let him off. There's a bit of a swell there. It would not be good if he went in. I think we've uh, successfully disturbed them completely. They've all gone. Right. Well, that was that was a, a little unexpected. Oh no, they're still there, still bobbing up and down, having a look at us. So why did you disturb us? He was quite happy there. Let's, uh, let's see if we can slip slide our way down here with you on the lead. Just uh, bear with me, bro. Just wait, mate. Okay, we made it down here, but uh, I don't think the seal are too happy about it. Yeah, there's quite a swell on there. I was toying with the idea. Look at this little group here. Bear shaking. Is that excitement or cold bear? What is it, mate? It's me chatting, scaring them off. Look.
shivering really badly, aren't you? You're just going to have to wait there, Bear. Cute colour, that one. What a privilege, what a privilege, eh, Bear? There's uh, no need to be going in chasing them. We can just sit here and watch them. That's the seal. You just watch them. They are fascinated by me, aren't they? I wonder why. I'm expecting fish or something. Wouldn't surprise me. I don't know if that works. I do hope I wasn't just in the way. But, um, you know, I've sat on that rock just there, and uh, there they are, all popping up in front of me. And they are they are just fascinated by us. They really are. They, they could easily flee if they were that inclined, but uh, now they just keep popping up, popping up, seeing what we're up to. So, I'll try and get back down to where I was. So, whoops. What happened there? <laughs> I was too busy looking at the rocks under my feet here. Slip sliding away here. Sort of jinked a bit there. Yeah, you uh, you just watch that seal bear. Good boy. Good dog. Good boy. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end up with a camera full of seal, aren't I? It's uh, not the easiest thing to edit because you just end up with loads and loads and loads and loads, and it's like, well, what what what, what is the highlight? <laughs> Of just loads and loads and loads of sealed footage like this. <laughs> 